Hey there. In this tutorial, we'll be working on a very basic input tree mapping menu to remap input actions to different keys and let our player assign custom controls to suit their gaming style. We will be creating a button to remap input action and listen for input events. Okay, so I've got my scene all set up right here. My character just has the basic player control movement, whereas my main scene just wait for the user to enter the escape key and switch it to scene to our input remap menu. You could pause the video right here and recreate my scene tree over here and wire that. Make sure to switch on the toggle mode for your button. Now, if we look at our input remapping script, we declare an enumerator, which is a list of our input action defined in our input map. Then we call the update action key. Now, firstly, we loop through our action list then we get the action button right here then we set the button state press state to false then we check if our input map has the correct action and if it does we check if it has an event if it has an event we set the button text to the first event in returned by the input action array. And if we were to run this, you should see something like this. I know it's pretty weird. And if I were to reassign this value, oh, we see that we displays the left and right key, which I don't know why. And, but if you're looking for a way better method, I think you should make use of the get key code, which is a lot better, but I tried working with that right here and it does get giving me some weird value and stuff. Okay, now to allow our users to assign control for themselves. Firstly, what you want to do is to connect the press signal of each action button then you want to call the toggle action button and pass as an argument the action of the button that's been pressed then in your toggle action button this line is just similar to getting the input action from the enumerator then we set is customizable to true take this and turn it into a string then we loop through all the action and if our the current input action is it equals to the action key we set is press button to false now to detect input event from our user we write this line then if event is equals to the input event key and is customizable true we call change action key and pass the event as a parameter or as an argument then in our change action key first off we get an array of events for the input action which is being pressed then we check if it is it empty and if it is not we get rid of the first event in the input action then we look through all our action check if our if the current input action has the new key to be assigned if it does we get rid of it after that we assign the new key the new event to our input action then we update our action key and when that's done 
we'll have something similar to this so we'll go left right up here probably i'll use w a s p go back and yeah hope you enjoyed this video if you did please smash the like button and subscribe it really helps this channel and if you have more videos you would like me to work on just let me know in the comment section down below so just to let you know i'll be posting videos weekly so be sure to turn on that notification and i'll see you in the next one